Hello everyone, uh, this is Sergio Martinez with uh, GJD3D and uh, I'm back here with a new video and in this case uh, we're back in the fashion industry and I have a dress here that I have uh, set up using my uh, my little mannequin digital mannequin here that I have in Rhino. It's kind of a little concept for a dress and uh, I've already done the dress panels here very simple kind of made a little seam there to make it a little more realistic uh, the back of the strap is already built uh, as we can see there right there and uh, the idea here is to create now like a nice uh, decorative uh, strap over here over the front uh, to give the dress a little bit of flair and maybe conceptualize something interesting because uh, uh, you know we're still not sure what kind of thing we want to do there so this is where grasshopper comes in very handy because uh, you can do all kinds of interesting things and uh, right here uh, for example uh, Andres Gonzalez uh, prepared uh, this uh, definition uh, that creates a really interesting uh, pattern between two curves and that's what I'm going to do here now uh, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, start giving grasshopper some of the information so as you can see here I have two curves that form the length of the shoulder strap there on the chest strap that I got in the front of the dress there so I'm gonna go here to select curve one and I'm gonna right click and select one curve and choose uh, that one then I'm gonna go to select curve number two and right click and select the other curve once I do that immediately we see the pattern uh, being created uh, by grasshopper and uh, since these are two open curves I do not want to close it so that's the first thing I'm going to leave it so that it doesn't create a panel from that last part to here so here's our little design there notice we got a little race uh, areas here and now we can start having some fun we can decide if we want those to be bigger or smaller uh, if we want to change the patterns here here I have two and three so uh, I can start changing this for example bring this down and then they're just all even and then there's the different ones so we can start working with these uh, values here to change the way the pattern works on the surface uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and maybe maybe like that a thicker little piece with two other ones right there uh, and notice uh, if I if I uh, scroll up I got a lot of more options over here we can make a uh, uh, wider or on the right or on the left or in, in one end and on the other so I can do all kinds of things on here I can do up and down on one side uh, notice that it's getting higher on one side and it's the whole thing is changing so you can do you know very very interesting uh, notice that it's only one side that's getting higher not both so we can see how this is uh, begins to change as we go uh, and we can change the way that the offset works notice that is uh, notice that the description run out is up down so it's going up and down we can do all kinds of different uh, options over here uh, for the offset that we want to create we can tell it the maximum offset and the minimum offset so if you want it to start at a specific level and go to another level you can change the values here and make that different uh, you can also shake it to make it more uh, randomized and different uh, in this case I'm leaving them the same because I kind of want the same kind of pattern there and uh, and it makes it real easy to create this type of uh, things you notice that I have that one there it's very easy for me to now uh, bake it since I'm done with it I can think I, I'm happy with the design I can go ahead and click uh, bake I'll choose a layer let's go to let's say layer 5 click OK and then now I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, grasshopper uh, out of my way here for a second let me slide it over to the other screen here and then uh, now I have this geometry there that is that is done if I close the, the the grasshopper and I got my part here I'll just change the direction just to make it easier for you to see it here's our uh, I can 
you know, there. And we've added a very interesting part uh, to the dress very easily, very quickly. Kind of a conceptualization uh, to start getting ideas of, you know, what it could look like with something like this.